Hey there everyone. Uh, so this video today is going to show you how to set up an email account. Having an email account is a necessity for almost everything you do these days and setting one up is actually super easy. So the account that I'm going to show you how to set up today is a Gmail account as it's one of the easiest accounts to manage and it's a really good service. And so once you have a Gmail or a Google account, you will have access to a bunch of different services that Google offers. But we're just going to talk about the email for now. And so, you know, like I said, having an email address is super important. Uh, you need one if you're ever going to file for unemployment, if you apply for a job, or even if you just want to communicate with others. Okay, so... When creating an email, the first thing you want to do is you want to go up to the search bar, bar and you want to search for accounts.google.com, okay? So accounts.google.com. You actually also want to go slash sign up. Okay, so accounts.google.com slash sign up. And once you have that typed in, you're going to press enter. So once you get to account.google.com slash sign up, you are presented with this page here. And so you're then going to put in your first name and your last name. So my first name and my last name. And so then you need to create a username that will become your email. So a good username would be your first name followed by your last name. So we have Margaret Peterson. However, in some cases, that username might already be taken. And so if that's the case, this box will highlight red. And then you need to try another one. So once your name, you know, is no longer a go, you can add some numbers or symbols that, you know, have some type of meaning to you for you to remember. So for me, I'm going to do Margaret Peterson 0127. Okay, that one is also taken. 0127 00. Okay, so that one is available. And so this means something to me, you know, I was born on January 27th of 2000. That's all that that means, okay? So after that, you also then need to create a password. And so your password should be something that is easy for you to remember, but is still something that no one else knows. And so for instance, I'm going to set my password to dancing purple Hippos 51720. Why? Because that's something that's really easy for me to remember. And it's something that, you know, I'm not going to share with anyone else. And it's going to be really hard for anybody else to figure that out. So it wants you to put it in again. Now, obviously, this is not my real email account. This is not my real password. And I'm not setting up a real email account here that I'm actually going to use. This is all fake, so I can just show you and walk you through the process of how to create one. Uh, now, before I click Next, because all these boxes are filled out, before I click Next and we move on to the next step, I need to emphasize the importance of keeping track of your email username and your password. So you need to write these down on a piece of paper and keep track of it, and you need to remember these. And so I need to write down somewhere, you know, Margaret Peterson 012700, and I need to write down, you know, Dancing Purple Hippos 51720. That way, you know, I don't forget it and I remember it, and then I have it there, in case I ever need to log into this account again. So once it's written down, you can go ahead and click next. Okay, so the next thing it's gonna ask is it's gonna ask you for a phone number. Uh, and so the phone number is optional and you don't 
have to provide the phone number, but I recommend that you do put in the number. Uh, it's just another way of securing your account in case you, for some reason, cannot access it at all. Like if you forgot your login information, if you, you know, forgot your password and can't remember. So I'm going to put in my phone number just as extra security. I'm not going to do the recovery email address. You could also do that option instead of the phone number. The next thing is it's going to ask for your birthday. So I will put in my birthday. You know, we're just going to go January 1st, 1964. Not my real information, but again, not a real account. It'll then ask for your gender information. And so, you know, I'm a female. And then you're going to click next. Okay, so then a button is going to appear right here that says send. You need to click this button next. It's going to send a text to the phone number that you provided. However, that is the wrong phone number I just realized, so I have to go back and fix that. There we go. So when you click send, it's going to send a phone num a text to this phone number right here. And it's going to send you a six-digit verification code. And all that this means is the text is going to send you a code. And then you're going to need to put that code in to just verify that, you know, you're a real person creating this account. And you're not a robot or you're not someone trying to create a fake account to scam people. So I'll press send right now to get my code. And so this is the screen you'll be presented with to get your code. And I just got my code, so I'm going to put that in right now. And so my code is 985930. And then once you have that code and you'll put that in, you'll click the verify button. Okay, so I clicked verify. It then brought me to this screen. That means that my code was good and that my number is confirmed. So then you know you're going to press yes, I'm in just to show that, you know, your phone is going to be linked to your Google account. Okay, so after that, you're presented with this privacy and terms page. And so you're going to scroll down until you get this I agree. And so all this information is saying is that, you know, you understand that you're making this account through Google and that you've provided your information but that you're in control and you own the information at the same time. So I agree, so I press that. And so just like that, I've created a Google account. So this is the page that you should have in front of you once you successfully create that account. So the first step of this has been completed. Uh, you've created a Google account, but now we need to access our email. So now I'm going to go to mail.google.com and I'm going to press enter. Now I'm on a different account, so I'm going to go to this one right here. But so you go to mail.google.com and you see that you're presented with an inbox. And so this is what your inbox should look like when you log in for the first time. Uh, you should have this email that says, you know, finish setting up your Google account. You can see your different inboxes and your sent. When you want to send an email, you press the compose button and you type in to who it is and then your message here. Now, say you're on a different computer or device than the one you created the account on. And so that's okay. You just then need to click uh, the add another account or the sign in button. It's different for each computer. And then you put in that email address and that password that you've written down and you've saved somewhere. And then boom, you're signed in. You can sign in on any device as long as you know that email and password. And so that's really it. That's the whole process of how you create an email. It's really quick, really easy. 
And once it's set up, you can use it to send and receive emails and use it in the necessary settings, like applying for a job or applying for unemployment. If after watching this video, you know, you're still a bit confused or unsure on the whole process of creating an email, or you just have some questions that you really would prefer to have answered, you can come into the Columbus Junction Public Library uh, anytime during our open business hours. We will gladly help answer any questions and assist you in any way that we can. Thanks for watching, and I hope that creating an email seems a bit more feasible.